Danny Washington, marine conservationist, biologist, and thrill seeker. And this week, we discover the ways we can learn about how nature knows best. Everywhere I go, I'm always looking for new advancements inspired by nature. And this place is a one-stop shop. Biomimicry is here uh, in a big way. Every single year we do this, it seems to go further into biomimicry. Festo, that's kind of their thing. Festo is a leading provider of automation technology. That means anything in a factory that you see that moves from A to B, grabbing, gripping, that technology that makes it happen is what we make. All these tasks are performed in nature by animals every day. But nature has perfected it over millions of years through evolution. We will identify interesting principles in nature. And once we study it, the idea is to create the robot around it, but always with the goal of finding an application for it in automation. These robots, these bionics, then become messengers to entice youth to understand how cool STEM topics are. And one of the things we really need to ensure is that we have a workforce of the future. To inspire this next generation, the folks at Festo put on quite the show at the festival. From dramatic stage presentations with floating robotic penguins and flying bionic butterflies to their booth, featuring more artificial creatures, each more eye-popping than the next. Can you tell me a little bit about Festo and what you guys are currently doing to get more kids involved in STEM? Our biggest thing with STEM that we realize is that we have to explain to the kids the connection between the four disciplines. So without science and technology, there's no engineering and math. The goal is to have innovative problem solvers. Tell me a little bit about this guy right behind us. It looks like one of my favorite organisms in the ocean. So these guys are called the aqua jellies. Mm -hmm. it, it's cool and the kids love this. Our aqua jellies are robotic jellyfish. They look very mesmerizing and they float exactly like jellyfish. What makes them unique is we have the fin ray effect. If you were to look at a fish fin, it does not move away from the pressure like any other object. It actually curls toward it. And that's what makes fish in the water so perfectly adapted to their environment. What makes them special is that we were able to create this artificial intelligence where these aqua jellies are able to talk to each other so they avoid each other in a tank. That was the first time we were able to integrate this artificial intelligence of communication. So it's really changed the world of automation. But at the festival, it's less about how the aqua jellies can help automation and more about inspiring the next generation. When I explain to the kids that the tentacles on the jellyfish are just simply a triangle based on the fin ray effects that we utilize in other applications, they're like, wow. The Festo booth helps kids make simple connections on how nature can inspire our tech and lets them get hands-on by controlling this gripper. Sure, it might look like a futuristic claw machine, but it actually works a lot like an elephant's trunk and by letting them make their own triangular fish fins out of cardboard. They really love it, they do. We truly believe in this next generation of kids and students. We need them to bring us to the next step. Kids can help change the world. They can help solve the problems that they hear about on the news all the time, and biomimicry is the tool to do that. The easiest way to be inspired by your environment is to get outside and look around because nature knows best. I'm Danny Washington, and until next time, put down your electronics for a second and start your own adventure.